In this video, I'll present using shape files to create regions of interest for NetCDF matrix stacks. I've previously imported simulated daily minimum global temperature data for the year 2021. And now I'll create an ROI for a specific country from a shape file. Importing a shape file is as easy as dragging and dropping it into the origin workspace. Next, I'll right-click on the matrix stack and select Create ROI from XY. In the dialog, I'll select the ROI coordinates from the imported shape file data. The ROI index comes from the third column. This time, I'll ignore the ROI name. Observe a Brazil-shaped ROI on the matrix stacks. I'll zoom in for clarity. When I right-click on the ROI, I'm presented with a number of options. Here I'm interested in the intensity profile. In the dialog, I'll choose mean and standard deviation for the output. A worksheet is created containing a time series based on the ROI. I'll create a line plot of the time series. Here I'll customize it further. Now I'll move on to the next example. But first, ROIs can be removed from the matrix via the context menu. And let me unzoom the stack. Next, I'll import a more complex shapefile, one capable of generating multiple ROIs. Again, from the context menu, I'll create an ROI from XY. I'll select the ROI coordinates and the ROI index. This time, I'll select an ROI names column. Observe that there are multiple ROIs, one per continent. A context menu is available for each individual ROI. I can select intensity profile for an individual ROI, but have it generate a profile for every ROI on the matrix stack. Again, I'll select mean and standard deviation. A worksheet has been created that contains a time series for all the ROIs. Now I'll create a browser plot from the worksheet. Here I'll customize it further. Once I'm done, I'll navigate the time series of minimum daily temperatures for each continent. Thank you for watching.